Now this is an example of utilizing Fibonacci sequence in regard to utilizing a class and a unique instance being called in that sequence to the particular class. For example, as follows. You can basically run the code. And if you see right here, there you have Fibonacci sequence. And this code right here is a little wordier than it needs to be because I want to give you a brief example of how Fibonacci sequence breaks down code-wise. But as we call upon this instance, you notice it keeps on changing the value of the variable. And then if we create a new instance of this particular class, basically then that variable's value is unique to that particular instance. Again, it's going to sound alien to a person not familiar with uh, classes and instances per se, but it's there and I'll paste the code for you to break down on your own so you can understand it a little easier than I could possibly speak it. Ralph signing off. Hope this helps and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye.